<laughs> Welcome everybody to the Can't Tell Us Nothing show. What up? Yeah, yeah the sound you're hearing right now are the sounds that can't tell us nothing. An improv group out of Houston, Texas, baby. H Tan holding it Tan. down. <laughs> In the group of Can't Tell Us Nothing, you have four wonderful individuals. One of those people are named Tandy. Say, say something. Sandy. <laughs> there you go. Another one is John. What's happening? What's happening? Amici is the hey, third. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. And then myself, Antoine. Like I said, we are an improv group out of Houston, Texas. And what is the Can't Tell Us Nothing show? The Can't Tell Us Nothing show is a show where we take opinions, discussion, topics, turn that into improv scenes right on the spot. And then get back into the discussion. We just make up the scene. It'll have characters. It'll have plot. It'll have twists and turns. And then we'll jump back to the conversation. You'll get it. Uh, today, what? Uh, I was actually pondering a few things. And actually regarding sports. Sports is in a weird place right now. People are playing in bubbles. If you watch it, to me, it looks like they're playing on an alien ship where they're trying to imitate what sports used to look like. Um, but... <laughs> I uh, I know John and Amici were, or or are big sports fans, right? You played sports in your youth, uh, you you watch it, you know a lot about it. I only do like fancy football with some buddies, but um, I want you, oh, you when you I brought still it. Do, up, you, you do fantasy football? I still do fan, fantasy no, football. Okay. Is probably the only reason I watch football. Oh, Other okay. than that, I I don't really pay much. I I yeah. don't pay much attention now, but yeah, fantasy even football. Less so. I think uh, fantasy football was like the second biggest integration of new fans from the, uh, in the NFL, probably since black people was able to play. You think you think if there was a timeline, if there's one major bullet, <laughs> more people watching. Black people got into the sports. A whole bunch of people started watching, and then when mm. fantasy football came out. Even more, mm. yeah. As a ex football player, fantasy football was a trip to me. Uh, but I actually enjoyed it more than I did Madden mm. for whatever reason. And I was a huge Madden player; like it was a big thing. Um, but Madden the video game, right? Madden the video game, and fantasy football actually broke down the walls that I had about being. A f- fans to the teams that I was. So like my football NFL team was like the Steelers. Mm -hmm. And it was only really because I was secretly a Steelers fan only because everybody in Ohio was either a Browns or Bengal fan. Mm -hmm. And both of those teams historically were ass butter. Horrible. So um, when they would play the Steelers, this black and yellow team, I would see everybody getting so excited about them and then the Steelers just beat the hell out of them. So I'm like, why are we cheering for them? We be cheering for us. You know? Um, for the winners. Cheering for the winners, right? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm not that um, that crazy. Um, but fantasy football broke that because, as you've seen, Antoine, fantasy football, you get a player that you like, and then that player goes out, and you can win a game based on how well that player does. If that player is on one of your favorite teams or is going against your favorite team, now you are hoping that your favorite player, their player on your team does an unreal amount of job, like an unheard of type of game would also allow your fa- favorite team to win. Yeah. It it's seems a, like ridiculous. It's a paradox of fantasy football. <laughs> and in, in a way, like playing fantasy football made me less of a fan of the NFL. Because mm-hmm. uh, maybe that was a fan of a team, specific team. Uh, when I was in college in Alabama, I didn't have a team, and my friends would watch the NFL. And I was like, Somebody, just, just give me a team. Give, give me any team. I'll, I'll support that team. Give me and they team. gave me the Saints, who were like the worst team at the time. Could hardly win a game. And within a couple of years, they won the Super Bowl. I think that's becoming <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. my friends, my friends, My friend who gave me the, the Saints is a Texans fan. They haven't won the Super Bowl yet. So, mm-hmm. you know, karma. Um, <laughs> karma. Yeah. It is. It's really karma. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, it's weird. Like cheering for a guy who's playing against your team, you want him to do very, really well, but you also want yep, you, know, you want both teams to kind of do well in a way, which is weird. Yeah, you want him to catch a fifty-yard pass, but you don't yeah. want him to cross the goal line. 
Like, well, you, you, you might want to if you need yeah, the yeah, points. Yeah, you want them to cross the goal line, but you don't want them to score at least until your favorite team is up by like three <laughs> touchdowns. Then he can have another. But hopefully, you're not going to get your, your team's quarterback. Uh, yeah. You know, in that. Way. Yes, that's another conundrum. You have <laughs> your favorite quarterback who's on your fantasy football team playing against like your you know favorite team and your favorite quarterback, like you, you end up hating the whole situation. So <laughs> Andy, it, have you, I, have you I ever don't even it? know what we're talking about. <laughs> I know. And I'm trying to figure out, I, I, you know, I've heard of it, of course, but you know, I'm, uh, it sounds like you pick a favorite player and then you have a favorite team. Is there money well, involved? So let, let me, let me explain. Gambling? Fancy, let me explain fancy football for those out there who don't know what yeah. it is. Uh, so, so uh, an NFL or yeah, a team in the NFL is made up of a, a bunch of players in a bunch of different positions, right? You have yeah. a quarterback, you have a wide receiver, running mm-hmm. back, yada yada, right? Um, when you build a fantasy team, you're actually mm-hmm. trying to take players from all parts of the NFL and put them on one team. Okay. So you want all the best players from yeah. all the teams on your team. Mm-hmm. Now you're competing with other people who are drawing from the same pool, so mm-hmm. you can't make the same team as someone else, right? So you can only pick players who are available so Uh you just try to make the best and then when they play a game whenever they play a game the the how well that player does adds points to your team to your team that you've created yes how do you decide who gets to pick which player well how do you decide who goes first like what's your draft a few different methods um (laughs) uh there's two most common ones i know of you have round robin where you just you uh randomize a draft order yeah, without getting into it, you get a draft mm-hmm. order, mm-hmm. and then you, you know, first pick, second pick, third pick for all the way, and then back up. The other one is to have um, a budget, and then you buy players called Fab, uh, and mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the so a player comes up, and it's kind of like an auction. Everybody bids on that player, and whoever bids the most gets that player. Why? Why are you rolling your head? Why? You see that? You saw? You, yeah, I was. Oh my god, they buy people. Me. I buying. did. They buying people. They people on auction. Lord help. Okay. 100%. All right, Ryan. Well, not feeling it. Not feeling it. I, no, I probably not yeah. to get involved with it, but just to know more about it. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah. So, so your so your crowning glory would be to have this great team of these great players who've done really well. So is the, does this happen like um, every football season? Like, okay, we're getting the fantasy football league together. And then when football is over, it's over. And then you come back the next year. So the person who had the, I mean, do you guys usually play together or like you can do fantasy football, like with this group and then next year I'm going to do it with this group of people or how, how does it, how does it go? Do multiple groups at once. Multiple groups yeah. at once. So you don't, so, oh my. And you could pick multiple different teams depending on what league you sign up with. Oh, okay. All Which right. is another thing that can burn you because you can go, oh, I have this team and that you've selected in one draft, but your other team is wildly different. And you can have conflicting teams where a player that you have in one team is having a, a, a game against another player on your other team. <laughs> <laughs> where you'll have people that are like, oh, man, all of my teams lost today. And you're like, what does that mean? If you were like, <laughs> it basically means that they picked all the players they picked on each team probably, you know, had bad games or they picked the wrong players up for that week to have mm-hmm. a game, you know. So like Amici's example of New Orleans, yeah, back in the day when they were trash, if you played against New Orleans defense, you would put up like – you knew New Orleans was going to lose, and that was a defense you were facing on the other guy's team, or you knew that was their team. You knew that you you want to put as many players that are going to score points to outscore the, let's say, Amici's team, okay. who has you know maybe bad players on this team that don't score as many. Now, the, 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 the excessiveness about this is each of these players are – real players that are going to the NFL and going to play a real game. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's, it's, it's almost like a more, more into more real version of like playing a video game is you pick a team and you essentially betting, right. Betting if you want to lose over the whole league. Um, but if the player gets hurt, 
you know, you are impacted by it like the real team was, right? So, like, you no longer could use that player on your roster. You have to either pick another player up from free agency, you have to trade with another team for a player, or you have to use whoever's on your bench who may not be as good as a guy that got hurt. Um, so if you, like, if all your star players get hurt like they mm-hmm. did in real life, it happened to me, mm-hmm. um, you probably end up losing the rest of your game because nobody's going to trade with you. you know? Okay. That just makes me think of – oh, go ahead, sir. No, no, no. I'll, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, go, go. We cut to a hospital. <laughs> we cut to a hospital room. <laughs> Okay, John. Wow, that was a terrible, terrible injury that you sustained, but we're so glad you're here at the hospital. We're going to take care of you. We're going to make everything better. Uh, I just came in to let you know that uh, one of your owners is outside. Um, he didn't look like the owner from from the um, from the Falcons. I think I know what that guy looks like. This is just some guy in a um, Arby's uniform. He's outside and he says he's an owner. He wants to he wants to talk to you. You guys got a a guy wearing an RB shirt. I, we don't. We don't. Yeah, we don't got him. He just came up to the hospital. He said he's been pushing his way past security. He says he's an owner. He says he's he's the owner of a team that you're on, and he just wants to talk to you because he heard you're injured and he, he wants to get in and talk to you. Where's the room? Where's well, the room? That, I'm that an owner. Like, that sounds like him out there. I can get him. I, I, he he must be one of my fans. I. I Okay, that's you fine. Are this, you okay? Is this the room? Is this the room? Uh, oh, John. sorry. Hold on. Okay. I've been looking all over for you. Okay. Hey. Sorry. Sorry. I, I'm, not, I'm unable to give you an autograph today, as you you saw my hand got crushed. I want an autograph. I want an apology. You want John, a you're going to sink my season. I was second pick in the draft, and I picked you. I picked Jesus. you. That's a, that's a big – I pulled some favors to get that pick, John. All right? I'll base my whole team – around you killing us this season and you go and tear your acl what john I, I look i just want an apology and a promise that you'll do better next time and i'll think about how i feel that's the main reason i came up here well um i'm a real person and that that acl that you're talking about i still feel that pain i don't give a damn about your team all right I want to get healed. I want to get back on the field because that's what I do. You know? I spent 35 bucks on you. Do you know what that means to a guy like me? To a person in my life? I don't know what that's that means. It's huge. It's huge. I thought you were out there to, to do something for the fans. I thought you were out there to grab the ball, run down the field. Good points. What are you doing? Do you even care anymore, man? You know, let a little injury take you down? I can't walk. What do you want me to go out there with my leg dangling down? You want want that? You want me to go? You think that I'm going to be a better player if I go out and do that, man? Look, this fantasy football shit has gotten – I'm up to here with this, all right? I'm up to here. No one comes to Arby's and say, hey, man, I picked you on my Arby's team. You need to get them fries a little hotter. I'm losing my game. You well, some, like you. If someone did, if someone did come to Arby's and said I was on their team, I would do right by them. Nobody's nope. going to do that. <laughs> oh, really? We, we, we cut to Arby's, <laughs> the drive through. The <laughs> hey, uh, Antoine. Uh, yeah, uh, is, or were you the uh, roast beef sandwich? No, I'm one of your owners. What? Yeah, the fantasy Arby's league. I uh, I heard about that, but I didn't think that was a real thing. You you uh, you picked me. I made you the number one pick, and you're letting me down this week. What 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 did I do? You're I'm not gonna always out. You're not getting me always that fast enough, man. It's taking five minutes to, to, just to make some fries. What's going on? Hey, look, we're just getting a little backed up back here. You know, just getting a little backed up. Back there, <clears throat> I, I'm tired of hearing these excuses. Can, can you just pick it up and, and, and do better? 
Hey, well, hold on, hold on. Yo, I'm working at Arby's trying to make a living for my family, okay? I'm a real person. I can't just hurry up some fries for you. I might injure myself. This is serious business in here, man. I, I know it's serious. it's serious business for me, too. I I, I bet $35 uh, on this league to, to, to sign you. I paid $35 to sign you. You That's paid $35 money I, to sign yeah. me? That's a lot of money where, where I work. Where do you work? McDonald's. <laughs> but I do this because I love it. You know, I, I have to be involved. So wait a second. What's your name? Amici. Amici. Ah, you're, you're on my McDonald's league. I picked oh, you yeah. on my McDonald's team, Amici. You've been slacking this whole season. Don't come up to me with this shit. I'm gonna come check on you. That's why I'm slacking. And scene. <laughs> 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 that is a straight up fantasy. Yeah.